sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be working in my entryway, my hallway and adding some fall decor here. This is not a very big space and it's actually kind of awkward right here by the door. There isn't a lot of room to add anything. I do have this little stool here that people can use to sit down and put their shoes on, things like that. And then the rest of the hallway just leads down to my living room and to the stairs to upstairs and into the kitchen. So it really is a kind of awkward space. I do have that hall table that I've kept there for years, but there isn't a lot of room to add a lot of decor. So I'm going to show you how I add a little bit of fall decor into this space to make it all cozy and inviting for when family and friends come over to visit. I do hope that you enjoy this video and it does give you some inspiration to add a little bit of fall decor into your space no matter how big or how small. So let's get going on decorating this for fall. We've set the mood with a beautiful pumpkin scented candle that I picked up at my grocery store. I'm going to start by replacing these gorgeous magnolia stems that I've had here through the spring and summer. These green and orange eucalyptus stems I picked up at Michael's recently on their buy one get one free sale. So they really were quite a good deal. that I do not change out the artwork above this table. I haven't really found anything that I liked that I wanted to put up there. As I've mentioned in previous videos, if you are new here, welcome. So glad to have you here and my name is Kelly, but I do live in Canada, so I don't have access to Hobby Lobby or Kirkland or anything like that. So I'm very limited where I can find my prints. I love the print that's there. It's got a little bit of the green in there. So for now, I will leave it and just work around it. And you don't need to be changing out your artwork for every season. If you love the print, why not keep it there and just work around it? It will still make your space look beautiful. Is the small anthropology minka pot and my wonderful son gifted this to me last Christmas and I was so thrilled with it he knew that I had been eyeing it and him, sweet boy he got it for me for Christmas so it's very special and I love looking at it every day and thinking of his thoughtfulness start working on the bottom shelf of this table and this table is another piece that we inherited from my in-laws when they passed on and so it's another very special piece in our house 
but I will tell you that this second shelf goes through a few uh, iterations here. I play with it. I live with it for a few days. I make changes. Something comes to mind overnight and I think, oh, that would look better there. So you will see this take on a different look later on in the video. That thankful sign that I placed at the back is something that I made, oh, it must be about four or five years ago, just from items that I found at the dollar store, including the canvas, the paint, and that little, it's actually a metal sign that I painted white and I added just a bit of uh, wheat to it. And I think it's so pretty and I love the way it turned out and I use it year after year. As you can see from these shots, I did make quite a few changes and I don't know where the clips went. I guess I thought I'd hit record and I hadn't, so my apologies. But I did switch up where the pumpkin was. I put it up from the bottom shelf up to the top next to the vase. I think it looks so much better up here. And then I moved the books and the minka pot on the other side to balance out the height of the vase a little bit from the uh, left hand side of the table and then down on the bottom I did make a couple of other changes there I put the bowl with the bowl filler down there and I love it so much better course one more change and I took out the orange uh, fabric that I had underneath that cream vase and I switched it out for more of a burgundy color an old napkin that I have used for many years I like the color that it brings down to this shelf from the eucalyptus stems up above and then I just added some berry picks to tie in with the orange and the burgundy a bit better shoulder as stars convey the light so fragile in the night in this moment in this moment forever so this is a different day and I decided to work on this part of the hallway. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but then I was gifted these beautiful mums. So I thought they would fit perfectly beside the little bench. And I just placed them in this wicker basket that I have used in other areas of my home and put it on a plant stand and I love it. I brought this pumpkin pillow in from the living room because we really weren't using it. And if you didn't see that video, my Decorate My Living Room, with me I will leave it in the cards above but we were just throwing it on the ground anyways so it wasn't working there and I thought this added just such a sweet touch to this little stool now on the wall here it's very narrow but I brought back this little chip wood basket that I have placed a lamb's ear wreath inside and embellished it with that beautiful ribbon that I used in my kitchen and some white mums and I love this look. I think it's so pretty and screams fall to me. one last look at how the hallway came out. I think it's very sweet, it's very pretty, and subtle enough that it's not going to interfere with the flow of the traffic down the hallway. You still get that feeling that there is fall in the air. I love the way the table came out now that I have moved things around, and I just think it looks so pretty. In this moment, in this moment, forever be.
Eventually, I would love to replace the rug that is just beside this table here and get the matching runner for the rug that is in our living room. I think that would look so beautiful. But for now, it'll have to do. I'll have to live with what I have and just make it work. I want to thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I know there are a ton of de fall decorating videos out there and for you to take the time to watch one of my videos, it is so appreciated. I really do thank you for that. If you did enjoy it, I hope that you will share it with family and friends that you think might enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what was your favorite part. Commenting really helps my channel out and shows YouTube that you are enjoying these videos. So until I talk to you in my next video, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week and stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.